What is up guys? Your boy Webby Nation here bringing you guys a new series that I'm bringing into the channel which is Minecraft coding. So first tutorial of course as by the title you can see is how to use MCP and Eclipse. If you guys don't know what MCP means it means Minecraft Coder Pack. Both the download links for these two things right here that you're going to be needing for coding will be in the description below so just check out the description alright so first um, when you download MCP the, when you download MCP and Eclipse they're gonna be in a zip file or raw file, file. Um, just extract both the folders onto your desktop and no not the folders Eclipse is gonna have a folder in the raw file just why do I keep saying fire? file just extract that into the desktop, open it up, make an Eclipse shortcut, and then move it to the desktop. MCP, when you download the RAR file, um, make a folder on your desktop, call it whatever you want. I called mine MCP, and then just drag all the stuff in the MCP RAR file into your folder. So, alright, now I'm going to show you how to decompile in MCP. So, Pretty much all you have to do is open up MCP. Do I have that up? Yes, I do. Right here, type in percent app data percent like this. Just type that in, hit enter, and then this something like this should pop up. Go to your dot Minecraft and all you gotta do is copy your launcher executable launcher ex executable jar file and go to your jars file folder and then right here you're gonna you're gonna want to you're gonna wanna just pretty much paste that there and that's all you gotta do for decompiling and then you just click on decompile and it's gonna start it should say MCP 8.04 or whatever version you're on I'm on 04 client 1.6.2 server 1.6.2 if you see something like this that Scava files will not recompile, do not worry about that. It's no problem at all. So once you're done with that, you can exit out of that. And then now with Eclipse, what you're gonna want to do, open up Eclipse, like like I said, the shortcut. Wait for that to load. And for me, it might it might load a little bit slower just because I'm recording. But you're gonna want to wait. And then right here, you're gonna click Browse. You're gonna find the Eclipse. Yeah, no. We're gonna go to MCP. My bad. You're gonna get a MCP on your desktop. You're gonna look for Eclipse, and you're just gonna click on it and click OK. Then you're gonna click OK, like so, and wait for it to load. Like I said, my computer's running a little bit slow just because I'm recording. So I'm just gonna skip this part right here. Alright guys, I'm back. We're back. So pretty much you should have something like this pop up. Client with your server. You shouldn't have that X there. I only have that X because I messed up trying to do something which I sh I'm going to be fixing soon. But anyway, you're gonna go to gonna go to SRC. Then you're gonna hold down the down or go on the arrow, click on it, and then you're gonna have all these Java files to play around with. Um. So yeah, pretty much. Next episode, next tutorial, we're gonna be working with GUI main menu. So yeah, subscribe. Stay tuned for that. I'm gonna end this video and try and fix that client thing. That way, for the next tutorial, will be fine. So guys, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Like I said, th these tutorials d depends how much into detail I have to get. Will be short. Um. If you guys want me to go a little bit faster, I will. Just let me know in the comment section below. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.